Hey everyone, Carla here from Documenting the Journey, coming to you with a product review. The company, Five Minutes a Day Planner, reached out to me, asked me to review a couple of their items. Today I am re reviewing the Gratitude Journal. I have already done a review on the Undated Weekly, so feel free to go watch that as well. As you guys know, I love gratitude journaling and I am starting to kind of branch out and get into some prompted journals. So I was quite excited to review this. So before we dive into the contents, the cover is a very unique cover. I've never really felt to cover like this before. It is like a velvety suede, like it is so soft and I don't know if the texture is coming through on the camera or not, but it is like, it is a really, really cozy cover to just feel. And I was quite surprised by the actual cover. It's quite thick too, compared to the weekly planner. So the weekly planner is a 12 month planner, whereas your gratitude journal is gonna be a three month undated. They're both undated. This one's only gonna last three months and I'll show you why, because there are basically two pages per day. But the design that I have here is called Feather. The price for this three month undated gratitude journal is gonna be $16.99. They do come from Amazon. So you know that the shipping is also gonna be extremely quick. You have a traditional A5 size, which is 5.9 by 8.3. The paper on the inside is going to be the same as the weekly planner. It's going to be the 120 GSM paper, so it's going to be nice and thick. So they do have it undated on the inside, but they included a monthly overview for 2023 and 2024. It's got some common U.S. holidays on the back as well. And it does come with two sticker sheets. You have a cute little holiday sheet and then you have some functional sticker sheets as well. So when you come into the planner, you're gonna come into what I always call like your cover page of sorts. It's just the company, what it is and your contact information. Now this does have a lot of mindfulness stuff in it. So you're gonna have a lot of goal setting in here. You have categories for emotional, spiritual, physical, family and relationships, social, personal and development, financial, environmental, what brings you joy and what drains you on this side. And then you have like a cute little prompted section over here for thankfulness and a little checklist here that you can fill in as well. Now you can use this as a daily planner. And so they do have kind of like a bullet journal year at a glance here of things that you can put in, whether it's dentist appointments or birthdays or school start, school stop days, stuff like that. You also have a gratitude bucket list. So this could just be a long list of gratitude throughout your three months. Even though you're putting your daily gratitude in each page, you can bring those really heavy pieces to the front just to kind of have a long at glance visit. You have two pages for a vision board with some dot grid. This looks like it's maybe four millimeters. Yep, this is four millimeter dot grid for your vision board. And then, oh, you have three pages. So you have a three page vision board. So maybe you can do like one vision board a month, which would be really cool because you have three months in here. I've never done a monthly vision board, but this gives you the permission to do one for each month. And then you have built-in habit trackers and you're gonna have three of those habit trackers as well. So this is a really great habit tracker because it already comes up with a key and I love that they added in partial because if you did something but you did it like kind of halfway or you're like, well, I was gonna eat five vegetables a day, I ate three, that's pretty darn good, that would be a partial. And so leave it blank if it's missed, one cross if it's partial and a full X if it's completed. And there is space for two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 habits, which is quite a few habits for an entire month. And so you can even have on here because it's each day, you can even have like cleaning habits, like vacuuming, bathrooms, just so that way you can see your trends when you wash your sheets, just all kinds of stuff. There could be other habits that I track often are the time that I wake up, the time that I go to bed, or the hours that I sleep. A lot of wellness habits for me, like 
making sure I floss every day, making sure I eat five vegetables a day. I'm awful about fruit, so fruit never goes in my habit tracker. Making sure that I get some vitality and movement throughout the day. So there's a lot of really good options that you can use for those. So you do have three months here, and then it goes straight into your undated monthly. Now your undated monthly is going to be a Sunday start and you're gonna have five weeks and some change down here. So it looks like you have all of your months at the front and then all of your undated days back here. So I haven't seen a calendar view that's like this where it has just the two extra days down here. It has the five weeks, which is great. And I know occasionally you have that weird wonky sixth week. So I guess if you need the sixth week, you can just draw it out here on your dot grid. And so after your months, you have a monthly wellness check-in on a scale of one to 10. How did you feel about this past month? And so you've got a bunch of different prompts here, which I think it's always really good to do a monthly review because that way you can really assess like what worked, what didn't work, any adjustments that you need to make for that next month. And then you have some prompts over here for monthly reviews as well. Your wins and accomplishments, what made you feel happy? What was the most powerful thing I can say or do to keep me on track for all of my goals? And then what is draining my time? I really like this question because this question comes up a lot in my personal reflections because I never really focused, I always focus on like pleasing everybody. And so oftentimes this will bring out a lot of internal dialogue that I have with myself. And so this is also a good one because that way you know what to adjust for the next month so you can have that fulfilled feeling instead of just constantly being tired and exhausted. And then you will go into the next month with your next monthly review. So this is what your daily pages are going to look like. So you have a weekly overview with a blank grid here. So you have your top three priorities and you have an estimated time frame for getting those done. You have a week of up here and then you have your week at a glance down here. You do have a small square that Saturday and Sunday is com combined but you have an entire dot grid on this side. If the combined weekend bothers you, you have an entire page for space. And so this is gonna be great for that overflow task list. You can add some habits on here. You can add your weekly meal planning. You can add a daily self-care list, just endless options here. So this is what your day looks like. So you have a day of the week up here, the actual date, your gratitude for the day, I am most passionate about and what will make today great. You have your top three priorities and then today's targets. I'm not sure the difference between those. I'm sure somebody will come up with something genius for it. Maybe this can be your priorities and how you'll achieve your priorities. And then you have a space down here for affirmations. And then your evening reflection will be the highlights of the day. What did you learn? Things I need to remind myself today. I am looking forward to. You have a habit tracker down here, a mood tracker, and a win of the day score, however many you rate yourself out of 10. And this is a, oh, this says down here, plan to really score. Oh, okay. I get it. So this is the morning. <laughs> this is your gratitude for the day, what your intentions are for the day, what you want your score to be at the end of the day, your evening reflections, and then what your score actually was at the end of the day. That took me a hot second, y'all. Sorry about that. And so you have seven days in a row before you get back to your weekly. And then again, this is intended to have two pages each day. And then you get into your seventh one and then you come into your weekly reflections. So this is the week number, the win of the day score for each day, one through seven, your plan to reality score, and then your bucket list is completed, weekly reflections, what were your three big wins for the week, what was the best things that happened to you this week, and actions I will take to make my next week better. And then you have a blank dot grid page here for any additional weekly reflections or brainstorming or mind mapping or planning for that next week as well. And then you come into the next week. So again, you can have all of your schedule here, you can have your intentions up there, you can have anything that you need for, for tracking on this side. And then you go into the same weekly, excuse me, same daily pages. 
And so your prompts are going to be the same on each day. So you go through all of that and you will just rotate all of your weeks again, because this one, remember your months are at the front. <clears throat> and so once you get to the very back, oh, again, lay flat binding, super huge deal for me is the lay flat binding. I absolutely love it when something can stay open on your desk. You can keep this open. You can have your weekly schedule here. You can have your meal plan. You can have all of your shopping list. I mean, there's a large possibility with this planner. So lay flat binding is huge. Okay, so let's get to the back. I wanted to count your grid pages. Okay. And I do like that all of the pages are numbered too. So you could use one of these vision boards if you didn't want to use it as a vision board. You could use it as an index as well. Or you could use these pages back here as an index. And so you can easily say, you know, what your index was and you can do any trigger pages. So like on the day of March 13th on page 142, this huge milestone happened. And so you can keep these also on your shelf because they're gorgeous binding. That would look really pretty on your shelf. You know, you could keep these also as some memory keepers as well. So you have page 255 all the way to page 269 for dot grid. So you have 15 pages of dot grid. Again, this is the four millimeter dot grid. And then you come to the last page here. And then you have a big, large pocket at the back. Again, with that really cool material on the side so it won't tear and then you have an elastic closure and then you have an elastic pen loop as well so let's go ahead and close this and see what it looks like with the pen and the pen loop is great because it doesn't really interfere with the pages hardly at all and so this is what it would look like closed on your desk oh I did forget to show you also the page marker so you only have one page marker so you could only have it on either the month, the weekly overview, or the day that you're on. Instead of having three for each one of those categories, you just have the one, which is fine because you can always add tabs and sticky notes and stuff like that to the sides to mark anything that you need. So again, this is 120 GSM white paper. I did also forget to tell you that this is a rather hefty planner. So it is only for three months. But I also wanted to let you guys know that it is 1.4 pounds. And so it's it's quite chonky. And so this is the thickness of it. Let me just go ahead and measure the thickness of it. So it's about an inch thick or like with the cover and everything or about two and a half centimeters thick. So she's quite a, a thick book. And so if you were to take it out of the house, just keep that in mind. It's an A5 size, which is going to be easy to carry, but she is quite heavy. So again, the price point on this is $16.99, and it does come with the sticker sheets and the calendars. If you have any questions regarding these, let me know. I did do a pen test here in the back of the planner itself and if you wanted to go watch like me actually write out the pen test you're more than welcome to on this video but long story short is all of the pens are amazing highlighters are awesome the paper is great i just didn't want to have to go through all of that same stuff it's the same company same manufacturer same paper so the pen test would be the same in this planner Okay, so again, thank you very much to the team of 5 Minutes a Day Planner for sending these my way for review. If you have any questions, definitely drop them down below. I will also add a link for you to shop this exact one with a feather design. It is not affiliated, so I don't get a kickback or anything on it. So it's just a review for you. Hopefully you find it helpful and hopefully you try this thing out. And if you do, find me over on Instagram and let me know if you like it. Again, thank you for hanging out with me and watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.